What's going on everybody? This episode we're going to be talking about DEX. This is short for double ended queue. This is a data structure where you can append to either side of the collection. So it's very similar to a vector, but with some minor differences that can help you choose which one to use. Fortunately, they're very similar in their usage, so it's not a major learning curve. But first I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Visual Assist, which improves the overall C++ development experience with many features not available in Visual Studio. So if you're developing with Visual Studio and you're following along with the series, I definitely recommend you get Visual Assist. You can see many of these check marks of things that are not included in various versions of Visual Studio. So thank you to them for supporting this channel. I'll drop a link down below. So the way I understand it is that you can use a deck in a very similar way as a vector. The difference is how the deck is implemented behind the scenes. It is optimized for insertion and retrieval from either end of the collection. So if you're going to be doing something where it's continually adding or removing data from the top or bottom of the collection, then I would recommend going with a deck. If you're familiar at all with time complexity, it's O of 1 to insert at the beginning or at the end of this collection, as well as retrieving that data. If you can imagine keeping track of the beginning and the end of this collection, you can easily access that data immediately. But because this is a linked list and the data is chained together from beginning to end, accessing anything in the middle is O of N, meaning it can take multiple iterations to get the correct data and that time will increase with the growth of the size of the collection. I know I haven't talked a ton about data structures, so don't worry if that doesn't make complete sense right now. The main thing to know is that this is very efficient when working at the ends. And this is going to be a collection, so all of these templatized functions should work as well. Let's go ahead and create a deck of type string, and we will call this foods4. And similarly, we can initialize this in the same way that we've done with these others. So let me just go ahead and copy this assignment. We will copy that and bring that down here to assign to our deck. Pasting that there and I accidentally put the equal sign twice. All right, there we go. The difference here is not only do we have the ability to say foods for dot push back, which is a feature of a vector, we also have the ability to push front. So we can pass in here, lettuce, and while we're at it, let's do a push back as well. So foods for dot push back, and we'll throw in here cheese. All right, so now we should be able to just print this collection by saying print, passing in foods for. Check out the previous video if you want to understand how that print works, but a quick preview is you can see that right here. I'm going to comment out these other prints so it doesn't pollute. Actually, I don't need none of this junk. Let's just go ahead and delete it. Clean up a little bit. All right, so now we just have a few different collections and we're printing our deck. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm not sure how, but my uh, last word got removed somehow. So pumpkin, I must uh, mistype somehow. Let's try this again here. So there's our collection, and you can see lettuce is at the top from push front, and then cheese is at the bottom from push back. Seeing this allows us to understand a bit more how this might work, because imagine you had a shopping list, and I asked you to add something to the end, or add something to the beginning. You could do that very easily, because you just jump to the bottom or jump to the top and add that thing in. Similarly, retrieving that data is going to be very quick. Hey, what was the first thing we needed on our list? boom, you just jump to the very front. But if I asked you, hey, is uh, pizza on our shopping list? You'd have to go through all those elements until you either hit pizza or went through everything and realized it wasn't there. So we are going to use the deck throughout the rest of the videos. We're going to take a break from it though, because in the next video, we're gonna talk about reading from files, which is gonna be pretty exciting. Pretty soon, we're also gonna be talking about object-oriented programming and custom objects, which is gonna be sweet. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the upcoming episodes. Peace out.